Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is George and in this video we're going to talk about how to build a profitable e-commerce business. I've been doing e-commerce for the past four years and now I have come to a point where I understand how do you really grow a profitable e-commerce business? What does it take? And in this video I would like to share this information with you so you can have a better understanding about e-commerce and what does it really take to build a profitable e-commerce business business. So with that in mind, sit back, relax and enjoy this video. So after doing e-commerce for a very long time, I came to realize that e-commerce really comes down to just one thing. And this one thing is CPA, which is cost per acquisition, or in other words, how much you are paying to get a customer into your business. Because if you don't have any customers in your business, no one is going to be able to give you money. So when I was first starting out e-commerce, what I thought to myself was that, well, it's going to be a kind of direct response. So I'm going to be buying advertisements, whether it's on Facebook or Google, people are going to see that advertisement, people are going to go to my website, they're going to buy, and I'm going to make a profit. But what I came to realize over these years is that things are really not as simple as that. First of all, because advertising is an auction based uh, thing. So I'm paying money to show my ads to people, but then there are other people who sell similar things and who are also willing to pay money to show their ads, right? So I'm competing against them and vice versa. This is a very important thing to understand because how much you're paying for advertising is going to determine whether you're profitable or not. So initially, I thought that I'm going to buy advertisements, people are going to buy and I'm going to make a profit. But because I'm competing with other people, and because that raises that increases the ad cost, it turns out that I cannot make a profit on the first sale, right? Because the ads cost much more than my profit margin. So it took me four years to, you know, I was trying to figure out, okay, how do I lower my CPA? How do I get my cost per acquisition down? How do I lower my ad costs? How do I optimize my Facebook advertising? How do I diversify my marketing to really get that CPA down so I can get, I can make a profit on the first sale, every sale. And this really comes down to the problem of thinking short, uh, short term. So I'm thinking, okay, I want to make a profit now. I want to make a profit on every sale, right? I'm spending money now on advertising and I want to make a profit now. And that is understandable. But and here is the kind of the golden nugget that I want you to understand. When it comes to e-commerce, I came to realize that the profit is made later. You are getting customers into the door now, right? You're spending money on advertising now, people are buying, but you are lucky if you can break even, which means that how much you're spending is going to equal how much you're getting back, right? So you're spending a dollar and you're getting a dollar back, you're breaking even. And if you can do that, you are already in a good position. That's the first step. The second step is, I'm kind of leading up to this, you'll understand now just in a second. Because if you can break even and not lose money on getting customers into your business, that means that you are growing your customer base, right? That means you're growing your customer list. The second thing, if you can satisfy your customers, as in if you can provide them with a good product or service, if you can provide them with a good customer experience, right? All the way from seeing your ads, buying, interacting back and forth, delivering a good product service, and then, you know, the customer is happy, then in their minds, they're going to be like, okay, I shopped with these guys. I had a great experience. So next time, um, you know, if they reach out to me, if they say they have a promotion or whatever, I am likely to buy from them again. And this is very important because if you can grow a big customer base of people, of customers who are satisfied with your business shopping with you, and you can get them to come back again, well, think about it. You paid to get that customer into, the, into your business once, and the second and every other time, you, you need to get them to buy from you, you don't need to spend nearly as much. So what this means to you is that the profit is made from every purchase after the first one. So 
let me put it this way. You get a customer to come into your business, right? Let's say, for example, you get 100 customers. And then let's say, for example, that you, you provide a great service to all of them. And then, you know, a sale comes around and you're like, and you email them and you're like, hey guys, um, do you remember my business, right? You need to kind of warm them up during this whole time. Well, good news, we are having a sale, a flash sale or whatever. So we're giving you 10, 20% off, come back and shop with us again. And you just need to send them an email, which is like to a certain extent is like free. But then like if you have a big customer list, it's going to cost you a little bit of money. But remember, it's not nearly as much as you're paying for advertising. And so you're sending them this email or this SMS and you're saying, guys, we have this, this sale going on, come back and buy. And then out of those people you send the email to, some of them are going to come back and buy. And you are going to be making a lot of profit from those repeat customers. And this is what it really comes down to. It really comes down to, first of all, growing your customer list. And second of all, optimizing for a repeat customer rate for customer value, right? Or like lifetime value, right? For average order value, repeat customer rate. These are, these are the very important metrics if you want to build an e-commerce business. And ultimately, that's the only way to build your profitable e-commerce business. Because if you're focusing like, I want to make a profit now, how do I lower my CPA? You won't be able to do that because it's really hard to lower your CPA because you're competing with other advertisers. However, if you approach it as in like, okay, this is an auction. I am willing to pay as much as the other guy, but I'm going to optimize for an average, for a higher average order value. This means that every customer that does spend money with me, I'm going to try and get as much money from them as possible. And then from the people who do buy from me, I'm going to try and get as many people to come back and buy again, which is in other words, in other words, a repeat customer rate. So if you can get Let's say, for example, I think Amazon has like a 90% repeat customer rate or something crazy, right? So that's how you become profitable. You first, and here, here comes the, the kind of the hard part. You need to grow your customer list to a point where the revenue being generated from repeat customer rate is going to cover your over, business overhead and where it's going, sorry, where it's also going to cover your expense for advertising, right? So let's, let, let's, let me give you a quick example, which happened in my business back in last month of November, 2021. So in November, 2021, uh, my business, which is a drop servicing print on demand business, um, generated eight and a half thousand dollars in revenue. The repeat customer rate was 23 and a half percent. Now, this is a, a good repeat customer rate, but it's nowhere near where I can be because I really didn't put that much effort. All I was doing was I was just sending out emails through Shopify email, but whatever. Eight and a half thousand revenue, 23 and a half percent of that is repeat customer rate. So uh, in other words, around $2,000 of, of the revenue is from repeat customers, right? And out of those 2,000 that I, I, I got from repeat customer rates, around $1,000 of that is pure profit after you deduct the cost of goods sold, right? So let's put it this way. I have an email list of 3,500 people that I was emailing and I got $1,000 pure profit after paying for the cost of goods sold, right? So if I didn't spend any money on advertising, I would have made, I would have made 2000, I mean, I would have made a thousand dollars profit, right? Out of emailing those three and a half thousand people. Now think about it this way. What if I had 10 times that amount of customers? So let's say for example, instead of having three and a half thousand customers, I had a 35,000 uh, customer list. Well, that means that with my very little effort, I would have made $10,000 profit, right? And that's already sounds much more interesting. And then, you know, you can go further and if you say, well, what if you had a 350,000 customer list? Well, then you would have made $100,000 profit 
just from repeat business. And this is exactly how you build a profitable e-commerce business. You don't focus on the here and now, right? You do focus on this, but instead of focusing on the profitability, you focus on satisfying the customers, right? Optimizing for good customer support, good products and service, good packaging, whatever it is you're selling. You wanna focus that every customer that you interact with now gets a good experience with your business without making a profit. Because then, if that customer has a good experience with you, he's going to come back and buy again and again and again. As an example, I have a customer who has placed nine orders. That is exactly what you wanna do. If you can get people to buy with you nine times, six times, five times, four times, like that is where the profit is made because I spent money to get him into the business once and every single purchase that that customer made after that, I made profit, profit, profit. So please take away from this video that focus long-term, optimize for average order value and for repeat customer rate and satisfy your customers because e-commerce is a great business model, but not really, not many, not that many people talk that profitability is made later, right? Profit is made later. And now it's about, sorry, now it's about satisfying your customers. So I hope this was a helpful little video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. I talk about e-commerce, that's what I do. Um, if you enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, please make sure to smash that like button. And with that in mind, thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time.